Hey, my name is James Nicholson. I hope you guys are well. We've got some good news. Yesterday and the day before's videos weren't too great, were they? We had the renters reform bill looking like it's cancelled. Uh, that's a bit of a shambles, but landlords might see that as a positive one. And yesterday we were talking about the Leasehold Reform Act. That was something that a lot of people, including myself, uh, I've got one property with a short lease we're holding on to and it fell apart. And it looks like the Tories are not going to pass either of those bills. But today I want to talk mortgage rates and why in the next few weeks you're likely to start seeing some deals below 4%. So let's talk about that and let's talk about some lenders that are already dropping their rates and why this is happening. So before we jump into this, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. We've got new content every single day. So much is going on at the moment in the property world. You want to stay informed on what's going on. Am I here? Smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to the like button. One thing, don't get annoyed about being asked to hit a like button. It's not going to end your life, but it really does help us get more views. So just press that button over there very quickly. So, What's going on? Well, swap rates have dropped again. Um, so about a week or so ago, we had a very quick drop in swap rates. It was literally a day or so. First off, what even is a swap rate? Well, a swap rate is the rate that the banks borrow money off. You see, the banks that we think are the big banks, HSBC, NatWest, Nationwide, all of these kind of guys, they borrow off bigger banks. Uh, and that is determined off co something called a swap rate. Uh, now, if the swap rate goes down, which it did a few weeks ago, then the banks can borrow money cheaper. And what happened a few weeks ago was some of the lenders will have taken a lump of money, maybe 100 million, 200 million pounds, uh, and got that at a better rate, and then op temporarily offered uh, some discounted mortgage products, which we did see uh, over the last few weeks. But the rate then went up. So when they run out of that money and it's all lent out, the rate will go up. Now, we've just had some better inflation data. Not perfect, but it's moving in the right direction. It's a 3.4 down from 4% and potentially going to get close to that 2% by the next meeting. That has meant swap rates have started to go down again. So the rate that the banks get, even though the base rate... So just so this is a little confusing, the Bank of England rate hasn't moved. Their rate is at 5.25%. That will go down at some point this year. But because it's looking a little bit more optimistic and because banks need to lend money, that's how they make money is by lending money. The swap rates dropped. And because of that, some lenders are already hitting rates below 4%. So one bank that you could go and look at if you need a mortgage at the moment uh, is Leeds Building Society. They've dropped by 0.25%. Um, that's what's in their press release. It doesn't actually say what their rates are, so go and look on their site. You'll be able to find that. That's a good option. Um, remember, tomorrow we do an analysis of the market. So that's a reason to subscribe. Uh, every week we give you the best mortgage deal. So we'll be going into more detail on this tomorrow. Now I'm just letting you know what's coming. So what else is there? There's a company, I've not heard of this mortgage lender. They're called Gen H. Uh, and they've also dropped their rates by 0.25%, uh, which is good. So that's what we want to see. Uh, but what we've also heard is the mortgage works. Now this is good because the mortgage works is one of the biggest buy to let lenders they lend to hmos they lend to limited companies they lend to normal buy to let portfolios and they have just put their rate back down to three point so it's the mortgage works tmw and they've just brought out a rate again of 3.99 now I got that rate at 3.99. It is about two months ago now. Um, but then the prices went up as the swap rates went up, as the inflation data stuck last month. Uh, so it's been about two months since we've had anywhere close to that kind of rate, which is really, really positive to see a sub 4% rate. Now, obviously, they're going to have conditions and there are fees and stuff like that, which you want to go and look at. Um, We'll do an analysis tomorrow on what the fees are. 
But this is good. And if you're a buy-to-let landlord, what's really important to you is your monthly cash flow and your monthly fees. In fact, by having a lower fee like this, what it actually allows you to do, what actually can happen, is you can get the affordability passed on your buy-to-let mortgage. You see, a lot of people are going to be coming off buy-to-let mortgages at 1%. I had one that was at 1%. And then that's to jump up to 4%. That means my payments went up four times. Fortunately, in that time, rent also increased. And so we didn't actually lose any money. It was fine. But that's a consideration here. And so the Mortgage Works is one lender that will do this. And what's going to happen over the next few weeks, you'll see some more lenders starting to drop rates. Now, this might be short term because it's all dependent off the rate that the banks get themselves, the swap rate. So here's what I'm suggesting, and I've talked about this in lots of videos. If a good rate comes out in the next couple of weeks, and you've got a mortgage that's going to be ending this year at some point, look to fix it, because you can apply for that rate six months prior to your deal actually expiring, right? So fix the deal, then in the six months while you're waiting for your old deal to expire, if suddenly rates get slashed and all goes well, you don't have to stick on that rate because you haven't started the new deal yet and you can move on to a better rate. Let people know that. I really want as many people to really grasp and understand that. So if you've got a deal that expires any time in the next six months, you can fix a rate today or in the next week or so, then... As you're waiting for that six months to expire, if a better rate comes, then you can move on to that. Now, why would you do that? What that does for you is it gives you your worst case scenario. The rate that you're fixing on now is the worst that it could be. If rates go up, maybe inflation has a surge, which could happen. We've been talking about that recently. Inflation isn't gone by any means, and it is expected to rise again at the back end of this year. Now, I'm not thinking that interest rates are going to go up, but they could. So let's just say that interest rates do go back up. At least you fixed in the better price and the better deal. Let everybody know. Maybe share this video quickly with someone that you know is remortgaging soon and so they can really understand how this works. But look, that's the news today. It's more of a positive thing. Swap rates are down. Interest mortgage rates are coming down with lenders. You're going to see some more of this happening over the next week. Let's hope that they get to that point where they're fighting over their business, our business, like they were in December and January. That's what we'd like to see because that is a win for all consumers like us. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Where do you think rates are going to end up? I believe that the mortgage rate that you can get, the best rate that you'll get by the end of this year, will be 3.5%. I don't think you're going to get any lower than that at all, even if interest rates drop at the Bank of England. I think 3.5% is the best. So if you're holding out, maybe you're on a variable or a tracker rate right now, and it's on 4% or 5% or 6%, maybe you should be fixing one of these deals here, not waiting. I don't think you're going to be as like getting as good a deal as you might expect. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do smash the like button. Do subscribe. Go and check out some more content on my channel, including this video right here.